remains by Enforced. Ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Thrashers and metalheads alike. Yeah, this lives up to the hype. Um, and it's the album you should be checking out instead of the new Overkill or the new Metallica. Which I didn't mind. Then we see my review, you know, my feelings on it. Um, but yeah, this thing blows out of the water. Without a question. And that's what we expect from a newer band. I liked their last album, Kill Grind. Uh, it was the release, which was released on my birthday at that point in time. It was very nice. And yeah. I. I loved this thing. Um, even more than the last record. And it's no, it's no thrills. Feels just straight, straight for the jugular, in your face, thrash metal. In all the right ways that Metallica used to do and Slayer used to do. Um, pretty much. Hell, I get certain kinds of like Seasons of the Abyss vibes on the final track Empire. Well, at least it's intro, specifically. Um, being similar in style. But, and they were sort of a crossover thrash type band. More hardcore oriented. And then it seems they've adapted more of the big four into their sound a little more. Uh, I would say their style is very up there with what, uh... Why am I blanking on the band? So I react, you know? Why am I blanking? It makes me feel sad because I know the senior had passed and which was too soon and you know you know just uh, I'm I'm Catholic my excuse for why I'm a metalhead so rest peace to do but yeah overall this album is just goes for it I mean from just goes for it from start to finish, from aggressive menace to the quickening, to hand by my hand, to avarice, to the title track, to mercy killing fields, to nation of fear, to ultra violence, to starve, and to empire. It just, it's exactly what you wanted, and I, I'm gonna, I can't believe, I, it's weird. In this case, of having hardly a whole lot to say without having pulled up lyrics or anything, um, that it's not a, necessarily a bad thing in this case. Because this band does exactly what they set out to do. Cut the fluff and filler that they had on their album Kill Grid, which wasn't bad by any means. But this just goes straight for the throat. Um, no throat, no all killer, no filler of an album. Genu of what you should expect from a good thrash album, even from when it was in its heyday of the 80s. And even from the crossover section of thrash, that's more punk and hardcore oriented, which they started off as, and they took more of the big four of thrash influences, like particularly Metallica's and Slayer's stuff, a little more to heart, and just, ah. Oh, this whole album just, just slays and lays to waste. Anyone who anything that we, that was thrash and wishes they could be as good as those thrash bands, and somehow this is a newer band that gets it, doesn't reinvent the wheel, but does exactly what you want out of a thrash record. It's weird, and it only and it's ten songs in forty minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Here, let me see here. Yes. No, 33 minutes. It's straight up 10 songs, 33 minutes. In and out. The longest song comes in at about... It's pretty... Yeah, it's... It's between the title track and the final track, Empire. 
which is definitely are standouts on this record, which is funny how that is. Because that's, which isn't that far off from four minutes. So, other than that, everything else is usually under four minutes. It's in and out. It's in your face. It does not fuck around. It gets the job done. It's what a good thrash metal album should be. Um, and yeah. Overall, this album definitely rocks. And will probably have a possible Masterclass certification for this year. It's... It's making its way as one of the best records of this year and the best thrash album of 2023, without question. Even though, yeah, you could t attest a certain black and thrash album I talked about earlier in the year, but even still, I think this album can get, at least on the hype that they made for themselves off of Kill Grid, they lived up to it and then somehow the album cover, as I have shown, is very... Very reminiscent of their previous album in and of itself, but I think is even more, way more intense looking. Hopefully you'll like the album cover I put out, which is, mirrors this a little bit, little bit, but yeah. Overall, like I said, just mwah, chef's kiss on this thing. I've only, granted I've only had time to go back to it twice because uh, ever since the Be uh, Better Lovers came out, this super group, um, I've been binging on Dillinger and Every Time I Die. Or else I would have been listening to this album more, I'll admit. Um, but yeah, and as it would probably deserve to have that much attention from me because it, it just fucking slays, it fucking rules. Um, with Without without question. Um, I don't know if I want... I'm debating on whether or not this August Burns Red or Catatonia so far remain to be my top three of the albums that have come out this year that have gained my attention. And it doesn't seem anything else has, which kind of makes me wonder if this year's going to be a little sadder than I thought. Um, but we'll see. But this is definitely up there as album of the year contender. And just album uh, and thrash album of 2023 for sure. At least this more straightforward and, and bordering crossover type. You know what I mean? So what did you guys think of this album? Leave a comment below. Let me know. And as always, guys, keep it random. Keep it real. Keep it rocking. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, y'all. War Remains just... Ah, this, please check this out. Give, give these newer bands that actually give a shit and are making good songs a chance. Just do it. See ya.